One of the biggest updates for Windows 11 24H2 is here and it comes with many new features and improvements. Most of these features are exclusive to Copilot Plus PCs, the new Windows ARM devices. But there is one feature that is actually super useful and everyone should enable this. This is a feature called Quick Machine Recovery. I also did a video in this almost a week ago when this was in preview channel. But now this is available in the stable release of Windows 11. Think of this as a safety feature for your PC which will protect you from unexpected boot failure. To use this feature, make sure that your PC is up to date and you're using the latest version of Windows 11 24H2. You can go into the update history and make sure that you have this update installed, KB50 62660. Once you have this update, go into settings and then system and then recovery. And then here you'll see a new option, quick machine recovery. For most people, this will be disabled by default, I had to enable it manually. So just enable it and you can actually see what it does. If your PC fails to start, we will try to fix the problem with device recovery solution. So let's say for example, for some reason, your PC isn't booting. Whenever your PC gets any issue, Windows actually tries to fix the issue by running a automatic repair thingy, which looks something like this. But if the automatic repair doesn't work, then it will boot your PC into Windows recovery environment, where you can try a couple of different things to fix the startup errors. For example, you can go into troubleshoot and then go to advanced options. And here you can use command prompt system restore, or you can uninstall recent Windows updates, and hopefully that will fix the startup issues that you're having on your PC. But if nothing works, then you can use this feature, Quick Machine Recovery. This is actually a cloud-based feature, which means it will connect to the Microsoft server to find the solutions, okay? So it does it automatically. Remember the CrowdStrike incident? Yeah. To prevent something like that, this is a new solution from the Microsoft. You can see here, it says, let your device search for solutions to repair itself. You just simply click on it, okay? And now it will try to look for the solutions for your PC. Cause for boot failure can be anything. Maybe some software on your system is causing it, or maybe some drivers, or maybe some new Windows update. It could be anything. So this is a super useful feature because it will automatically, you know, look for the solution. And if there is a solution available, it will download that. Think of that solution as a patch for whatever issue you're having on your system. It will download it and apply it to your system and hopefully your PC will boot normally. In my opinion, this is a super useful feature and everyone should enable it because you don't know when you're gonna run into the boot failure. And there is one more big change. It's the blue screen of death is no more starting from this update on Windows 11. They are replacing this with the new user interface. Okay, this is the new BOSD. This is not blue screen of death. Instead, this is the black screen of death. The short name remains the same, BOSD. Microsoft says that they are trying to streamline the error screen, okay? So it looks like the Windows updates UI. And Microsoft also says that it gives you accurate information on what actually caused your system to crash. Uh, it's it's also the end of blue screen of death. <laughs> okay, You may have seen some memes on the internet on blue screen of death. It's a pretty popular meme, but sadly it's going away. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.